Hello, Scrappy Peeps. Susanna here today, and thank you for joining me on the Austin's Library Project video hop. So this is a hop that is organized by Becky Adams as part of a um, something to a, a distraction for her to help her focus on um, the loss of her son Austin and to make his life meaningful and leave a positive impact on the world. Um, Becky has a it's. Um, it's not a fundraiser, but um, it, it's a service project that they are doing in Austin's name, and they are collecting books. Um, and they've been doing that since he passed in 2018. Um, and so we are trying to raise awareness of this as well as just give her something else to focus on. So uh, this is a hop. So I am one of the many stops along the way. So be sure to um, check the description box down below for all of the other participants as well. So I am creating a large photo library layout. Um, this is my daughter in the stacks, which is the title of the layout. Um, back in 2018, um, actually not long before Austin passed. Um, and so I converted the picture to black and white because there's a lot of color in it and I really wanted the emphasis to be on her and the um, giant books that she's got. You can see I created a pocket out of that um, piece of pattern paper from Simple Story. So this is the full bloom collection because my initial plan was that I was going to put some of the tags inside so that they would look like um, the vertical books that are shelved on the shelves. Um, but this went off in a different direction. So what I'm working with here are the leftovers of actually a um, scrap room kit. Um, this was a double shot kit. So you have three pieces of pattern paper, um, cardstock, I believe. At least I think that's what this is, but I definitely know it is a kit from um, the scrap room. So I have a limited set of embellishments here. Um, actually, this is a flavors of the month kit because I see an AO, which means add on. So the sticker sheet is the add on. Um, so this is where I decide, nope, I don't want those tags, but I'm going to use this metal die from Whimsy Stamps. It's a pocket, um, which I thought was super cool because it's kind of like the pocket that are in library books or they used to have the pocket where you would have the check it out card, right? Um, so I thought that would be a fun addition to this um, and add a nice splash of color over there on the left hand side. Um, and then I could house additional photos and or my journaling in there because I don't want the journaling to detract from um, this large photo here. So I'm going to use my bone folder just for a crisper um, fold so that it lays flatter to the paper. Uh, and originally my plan was that I was just going to put it on the pattern paper so that I could preserve the pocket but with this pocket I don't need the long tall pocket that I have created from that piece of pattern paper there so um, I am going to let it overlap into the actual stack itself or the uh, the photo itself, um, which you can still use the pocket up the top, but it really has no functional purpose at this point. Um, so all of the color is going to come from the pattern paper. Um, and I want to try and make sure that I do get some color on the black and white photo as well, um, because that just, is, in order to guide your eye through the layout that is going to serve um, the the color will serve as the the directionality that you will follow and guide you in where to look so if you look at that photo in the pretty much in the center of the photo so you've got your depth of field and it leads you down to Mia and her books but there's also a clock that's on the wall which you can't actually see that it's a clock unless you know that it's there but it's a circle that just kind of sits there and your eye is drawn to this circle and so if I had noticed it as I was editing the photo I probably would have taken it out um, but I have that element that I need to do something with to distract you from looking at that circle. So I like the banner that spans between the two different shelves. Um, that's fun and that kind of takes your eye away from it a little bit, but it's still kind of this bullseye that your eye aims first for. So I need to find something else that is round or that is bright that is going to detract your eye from that. So I have, um, 
these elements that came with the kit and that is what I'm restricted to. Uh, be, I, I could put other things in but that's what I have chosen to work with. I've chosen to limit myself to um, this particular kit here. Uh, and so I have, I love the color of that plaid that's there um, and I want to make it functional so that I can write on the back side of that and so I just have an old old project life card um, it's a four by six project life that I've just cut down to fit on the back there so that I can um, write on it so I want to make some little tag circles um, some hole reinforcers so I'm just going to use that's a three-quarter inch punch and then I've got my regular hole punch um, and so that will provide the whole reinforcers and again it's going to add some color but also I like that it is also very similar in shape to uh, the, the clock and so that is something that matches the, the shape that is the, the clock and so you don't just have that bullseye in the center of the page. Now you've got something else that mimics it that detracts you from that. So just little design tips as you're creating um, of ways, you know, you might have design elements or you might have elements in your photos that are um, distracting and so these are ways that you can incorporate little things into your design to try and um, not make them such glaring focal points. So see how that it's red and it's different but it's it's similar enough so I still have that space up the top left um, that I want to do something with I want to add a little splash of color there uh, I like white space and so I don't need to fill all of the white space but it definitely needs something as balance um, to that top left hand side there so I found this little bird in the sticker sheet and I'm just gonna pop him up above um, the numbers for the the call the library system file uh, <laughs> filing system um, that tells you where to go. Um, I, I like that that pulls the color a little bit more to the left. And uh, I, here comes a Susanna shuffle here. I was stumped where things were going to go and how to work with the embellishments that I had without digging into other things. Um, and I was drawn to that be happy and I really wanted to express how happy she was in my daughter in the library is just a, it's a happy day or it used to be back in the day when she would go to the library. Um, so I was drawn to that, but um, I don't actually end up using that. So here is another red element and it's a circle. And I love the way that those circles play together um, and that that element just sli sliced slightly off the edge, off edge there, um, just it, it maintains the white space but it pulls the layout together. Um, and that's something that I've been working on a lot lately is, you know, if I have a full circle, I feel like I have to have a full circle, um, but it's okay to cut the circle. And if the flower's off the edge and you just cut off the edge of the page, that's okay. Um, I, it's, it's something that I have struggled with for a long time. And so it was, it was nice to be able to do that and cut it and be like, yeah, I like it. Um, conquering milestones, silly milestones, scrappy milestones. So here's another bird that's looking in in the same direction of her that's going to add that splash of color to the right hand side. But I feel like I need to give the bird something to stand on. He can't just kind of be floating there because he's very much standing and not flying. So I have pulled out my um, tea bag drawer full of uh, Ellie Studio um, labels. And so I have here a mustard color that matches the color palette that's in the collection, as well as an orange label, which it's hard to tell because that mustard is very much like the orange, um, but they're two different colors. And so by putting that white spot on the photo there and giving the birds something to sit on, A, it looks like a bunch of books that are stacked to me. Um, and then it also um, gives the birds something to sit on. So I have pulled out all of my um, Simple Stories color vibe stickers, uh, letter stickers, to looking for um, some coordinating letters that are going to go with the collection, the full boom collection, in order to um, put the title. And I know I want the title to be in the stacks. 
So the theme for this YouTube hop is, is reading or library or school or something probably book related. Um, and so that is why I went with this photo. What you are not going to see that I'm going to do off camera is I am going to take the two tags that I had originally in the beginning of the uh, video that I was going to use to tuck into that long pocket. Um, and I'm going to actually put additional photos on them. I do that off camera because I decide after the fact that I want additional things in the pocket and I have a ton of photos of this and I wanted you to see um, so you'll see in the close-ups literally I just print out photos and um, cut them down and stick them on um, the tags uh, one of the tags has photos on both sides and the other photo uh, the other tag has just one photo and then I believe I have additional journaling no I left the picture that's on the tag in the back there so if you haven't seen me do this already, this is a little trick. Um, just using the letter stickers on the edge of a ruler. This works perfectly with these paper color vibe stickers. They're paper and so they're harder to get down, um, I think. And so when I line them up on the ruler um, and then just push the top half of them down, the ruler comes and slides out nicely and leaves you nicely um, stacked letters so that you don't have to worry about lining them up and ripping them. I tear paper things so easily that thin paper that's not um, heavyweight like a heavyweight cardstock there. So again, I'm cutting off the little edge of the bird's tail there and it just looks perfect. You have to be careful where you choose to cut things, but totally doable. So be sure to check out the description box down below to see whose blog you are hopping to next. Thanks for stopping in today and I hope you will check out the links to um, Austin's library project and help support Becky um, in her quest to gain more books for this summer camp. Enjoy the close-ups. Thanks for stopping in today. I hope you're doing well. Come back again soon. Take care.